going to be quarter to nine. You got the late shift today. How's he doing? Yeah, you and uh, what time was Harry on? Like eight o'clock yesterday, quarter to eight or something yesterday. Harold's got torture. I, I don't know, yeah. You got the late shift. Are you all right, though? Like that. Yeah, I'm really good, mate. How are you? I'm very good. It's day two of the big show, Liam. Day two of the big show? Yeah. Have you, have you been listening this morning? Uh, I haven't been listening this morning, no. Okay, bye. <laughs> See you later. And, <laughs> and it's been alright, it's been quite good. What are you doing this morning, Liam? Because yesterday we spoke to Harry and he was on the way to film things. He wouldn't tell us what you exactly what you were doing. Today. We're at the moment we're getting ready to film things and I've literally sat in a chair and if you could see me now, I've got my hair slipped back. Oh wow. Ready for full makeup in the works and you you don't even want to know what's going on. Full makeup, what like drag? Uh, not like drag, no. <laughs> not like drag. Well, sort of like drag, but not drag. <laughs> It'd be quite strong for your second album, full drag. Yeah, yeah definitely. I think, yeah, I think that's a little game for it. It's kind of a bad move to go into, I suppose. It'd be even better if it was just you and no one mentioned it. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. I could just get away with it, that's the thing. <laughs> Does Liam look a little bit prettier? <laughs> <laughs> and are you quite good in the mornings, Liam? Because I've been trying to get advice of people, and people always think pop star is, is, is an easy job, but it's a, it's a tough job. You work long hours, you get up early. How are you at getting up and going to work of a morning? Uh, I'm okay, actually. It's usually Zane who's a terrible one to get up in the morning. Yes. Um, and Louis just got to choose his own time and then drive himself in, so he's just kind of he's kind of choose them time. But Zane's terrible to get up in the morning. Is anyone really annoying in the morning? Um, no. Niall. I imagine Niall's never in a bad mood. No, I was never in a bad mood. I was always in the same mood, which is loud and just says what he wants. So, mm -hmm. And he's got a guitar with him, it's even worse, because he just does not stop. He just doesn't shut up, does he? I like yeah, that. Yeah, we, we had a break yesterday, and he literally was doing his own gig downstairs the whole time. <laughs> he did our break, just literally just playing his, just his famous song, though. Just singing. I like that, that he's so happy to go yeah, to work in one direction. Happy. He is, yeah, no, bless him. When we were, when we came, remember we came in to see Scott Mills a couple of weeks ago and we announced the Teen Awards, and then we had to go and do the, the photos together. Yeah. Do you remember this? Um, yeah. I like that there was, there was a little break and I went outside with my manager to have like just a really boring meeting about my diary and, and this new show and everything, and Niall came out and he's like, what's going on over there? Wow, look at this meeting. Wow, look at how busy you are. He's like the happiest man of all time. Yeah, literally like anything excites Niall. Like, if yes. you know he's even, he's like, sure. He was literally excited about my, about my diary plans <laughs> for the, for the next. No, he's never excited about our diary plans. No, he's just. I like that though. He's a good. <laughs> um, so how is he this morning? He's not been too irritating. Uh, he's not here at the moment. Actually, it's just me and Harry. We've got the, the early shift, but then I've got the late shift as well. So then I'm kind of in the middle of shifts at the moment. So. <laughs> I love that you call it shifts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that really tough factory work shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually going to work in a factory. That's quite funny actually. Oh, did you? I was, yeah, I was going to go and build airplane parts for my dad, but then I went on Airfactor and all this, and you know, my life changed forever. So I'd be a pop star instead? Yeah, thought yeah. so, otherwise I'd sing you in the factory, that was bad, you know, I would That would be lovely for the factory workers. It could be, otherwise it could be very annoying, I mean, I do sit next to Niall when he sings in the morning, it's not very fun for me, so. It's quite great, so. I did, I worked in a factory once, it was my first proper job, Liam. Uh, my job was to make homework diaries. Oh, homework diaries? Yeah. I know, it was a rough job, and it was banned, no, music was banned, and I was not allowed to talk. I know from 21, how can you ban me from talking? It was banned, and we had to stand in a box, so we didn't take the paint off the floor. It was very degraded. That, that is quite degraded, so you stood in a box, filled in your diaries, <laughs> don't say a word, and don't listen to any music. Yes, torture. Absolutely awful, so I thought, oh, I'll just do the radio on breakfast show instead. Yeah, it sounds like something to me. This is boring. Um, and what's going on with you once you've you finished this uh, bit of filming? You've got filming to do for the next few days, and then do you have like any time off before the album comes out? Because the album's out when, November? Um, we've got a little bit of time off, I think, before it gets crazy again. Like, usually, when we have time off, that's like a warning, and it's to say, next week, you're not going to sleep, we're going to get you out of bed every single day to run around and do stuff all day long, so that's usually like a warning to us to say, get ready. <laughs> Worried about having days off. Just, just a warning. You're at work till June 2018. Yeah, no, that's exactly what it is. That is exactly how it works. And um, a lady called Zoya's been on. She says, "Tell Liam, I said hi. I'm Wandy's biggest fan. I'll see you at the Teen Awards." See you there. And so I said, "Thank you very much." That's going to be good. I'm looking forward to that. We did that last year. Yes, yes, it was very fun. That was a good gig. It was really good, wasn't it? And then you're going to come back this year. I guess last year, when you, when you did that, was that one of your first live performances? It was, no, it genuinely was. We haven't really performed that much, and that was, that was literally our first one. It was a lot of fun, so we always had fun with radio on there. That's true. Correct thing to say, Liam.
And we had that thing of um, getting you, picking you up on that big sofa thing. Oh, remember. yeah. That was a strong entrance because we, we, we entered the Teen Awards, if you didn't see this last year, uh, me on a chaise lounge, uh, surrounded by One Direction fan in me, uh, lifted up from underneath the stage to reveal all. It was, it was quite the entrance. I think we're going to have to be our job to better that this year. Yeah, although we were meant to carry you on on that chair, and I'm not sure whether they thought you had weight issues or something, <laughs> or we're not very strong lads. There, there was, you know, there was a complication, so we had to change it. Yeah, I think it was the combination of my weight issues and your brittle teenage bones. <laughs> <laughs> could have been a disaster. No days off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we need to think of a good one. Maybe we could zip wire in today. Yes, a big zip wire. Because you're so famous now and so successful, I reckon whatever you say, they will do. You reckon? Okay, mm -hmm. we can call the shots now, that's what you say. All I toast. That one. I'm alive on radio too, so that's good for us. Well, the, good, if you want anything to happen, that's what I've learned at Radio 1. You say it on air. Okay, we want to come in on jetpack. Zip wires would be amazing. Or the toaster, you know, and you can go underneath and poof, yes, get thrown up. That's what we're taking. If you are listening, planners of the Radio on Tina Wars, One Direction are saying they're going to cancel unless they and I get to zip wiring. Good call. Good call. Uh, we're going to play your record now, Live While We're Young. It's my big thing. I'm playing it every single day this week. Well, thank you very much. In the vain hope that by the end of the week, some people might like it. And it yeah, could do quite well. Well, thank you very much. We need all the help we can get. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Like, I don't even need to do this phone right now. Um, we want to know what people think of this record. Yesterday, um, people said it blew our minds. Go onto our Radio 1 Facebook page for the new breakfast show. Uh, it is R1 Breakfast. We are conducting a poll online. There are a few options. You can have it blows my mind. It's a grower. Meh, it's a stinker. Or I wouldn't touch it with yours. Please give us your reactions to this. My big thing from One Direction. Live 